Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as India. We are continuing our conquests up here through Persia. We're just in one final holy war that we're about to end in the near future here, so let's unpause and continue with that. Also expecting to, um, after this autosave finishes, also expecting to die at any point now since we're 66 years old and stressed and we're probably I don't know our son is a reasonably diplomatic guy but we do have a very large empire lots of vassals so the succession could be pretty rocky we'll see how it turns out though he will at least not have to deal with all of these opinion bonuses from us raising all these levies which is something Okay, we want a siege. You have increased the opinion there. I think we'll just wait for these two sieges to finish, rather than heading to fight this army in the mountains. And free technology from Constantinople is nice. So we are going to have to create more duchy or kingdom titles to deal with the uh, vassal limit once we distribute these newly acquired holdings here, which is fine. And that did get us to 100. We'll enforce our demands and go through the process of giving away all of these things. This is a pretty good KG. In fact, this whole duchy is packed full of holdings. Okay. So we are looking for men, not in prison. They can be married, not a ruler, my religion, my culture. Yes, an adult, not a great house. And, of course, they must also be of the correct cast. Which means you have to scroll down quite a bit to actually find anyone. I guess we have been uh, giving away a lot of land recently. So I suppose it's not too surprising if suitable candidates are kind of difficult to find. Yeah, and there is our vassal limit. Okay, so I think we'll probably just create this duchy, or usurp it. Usurping even better, because it's cheaper. I guess we'll give it to this guy, since he has the best county. Uh, was it this one? Yes. We are still at our vassal limit, so I think we should probably create one or two more titles right now. Uh, let's see. This duchy here would get rid of three. Create that one. Uh, I guess we'll give it to this guy. I think he got one county he wasn't actually entitled to. No, that is actually part of that de duchy. Never mind. Uh, let's see. Can we create or usurp this? We can, and it would in fact give us a de jure claim on an additional county if we needed that for some reason. Uh, we could create a kingdom title up here. I wonder if we can create Persia yet. Only 41%, so we can't. Uh, we could create Baluchistan or something down here, but... Uh, I think we'll just do Khorasan and then leave it at that for the moment. Don't want to spend too much gold because of the impending succession. I want to leave my heir with a bit of money available to spread around if he needs it. Okay. 
Okay, and I think we will probably just engage in another wave of Holy Wars up here against whoever we don't have truces with, but before that, uh, I think I'd like to take back the county here from our Maharaja of Kosala. We should be able to plot to revoke that. Unfortunately, we are going to have to fight a Maharaja to do it, but that's okay. And I don't have any troops raised anywhere, or boats, no. Okay, good. So, kind of surprised we still haven't died. I suppose we have the family focus giving us extra health. We could probably precipitate our death a little sooner by switching this. Maybe there's an argument for doing that, get our son in power as soon as possible so he can start accumulating his long reign bonus. So we have a peasant revolt. Probably not going to be too much of a problem. We'll just raise the levies of some nearby vassals to deal with it. And we'll raise yours as well. Uh, we are going to have to wait until we finish with the revolt to actually... Uh, no, wait, it's not the revolt. It's apparently because the Maharaja is a defender in a war. Okay. Well, we can wait, I suppose. We can just uh, take care of a few more holy wars before we do that. That is fine, too. Ooh, Independence Faction. The Maharaja of Malwa. Make him cupbearer, see if that improves his disposition. In fact, I think we have probably got enough troops here. Not have to worry about it. We are attacking into jungle, but it shouldn't be a big deal. Actually, let's lead the center ourselves. We're gonna die soon anyway, we may as well go out in style. Oh, and we didn't catch them, that's fine. Should be able to catch them here. Yes. We didn't even die in the battle. You can all just go home, I think we have this taken care of. We did capture somebody in battle. And hopefully this will be the last one. Faction is no longer a problem. And we are 100%, we'll enforce our demands. Execute this man for his impudence. And disband our troops. Okay. So, we definitely can't do this yet, so... Let's see what kind of wars we can declare up here. I'm not sure we even have any truces left with anybody. this guy. Okay, we do have a truce with him. So we're gonna have to leave that one out. Otherwise, we should be able to declare a wide variety of Holy Wars here. So we can take this, this, or those two, I guess, or this. I think we'll take this. This will give us a border directly with the Byzantines. Which is exciting. And uh, let's see, we should be able to declare on you. The Salamanids, maybe? Ooh, they're looking pretty powerful. You 
take these two counties here and the Abbasids. Let's see, I don't think we want that single county here. I think this will be better. Or we could go this direction. I think we'll go here. Uh, let's see who we're not at war with already. So, we do have a truce with you for another 10 years, yeah. That's what I thought. Uh, how about these guys? Who's in charge of your, your kingdom? Uh, we can actually do a war here. I guess we'll take this county. Um, not at war with you, because we have a truce. How about you over here? Oh, you also own this land, I see. Well, I don't think we really need to expand in this direction, so... I think we won't bother doing that. Um, could declare on the Byzantines as well, of course, but I think we'll wait and give them their own special attention after we're finished with uh, this particular wave of Holy Wars. Uh, you have no levy available because we just gave you all your land and you don't... Uh, you haven't had time for it to replenish, that's fine. So we'll get all of the troops from everyone nearby at least. We already got you apparently. be a bit careful about our retinue here. We'll have you all just retreat a bit back to this area. And then you and you and you can come down here. I think we'll raise some troops from the south as well, but transport them over by boat. Probably enough. With 45,000 raised, I can't imagine that all of our combined enemies have that many or more. Uh, the Suleiman is actually have 20,000, but even still, I think we should be okay with that number. We'll bring our other retinue up from here as well. And I guess I will raise my personal levies too, why not? Okay, we'll see if we can raise enough boats from this general area to transport all these troops. I think that's probably enough. I'm not actually going to count, but we'll find out when they get there. Okay, various people being called in. Okay. There's actually not enough boats. Uh, we already raised yours. Okay, now we should have more than enough boats. Some of our vassals are going to war against each other. Which they're allowed to do, I suppose. Given our crown authority. Oop, nope, I meant to load you onto the boats, thank you. And we'll get you... we'll land them up here. Should be fine. And you are here.
Why don't you all actually come to this county? And we're about ready to start moving into enemy territory. Alright, another 100 gold is pretty good. We are losing money right now, not too surprisingly. Mostly, I have to assume from levy upkeep, since I did raise my personal troops. That might have been a mistake, we might want to keep the money on hand instead. We can always disband them at some point, if necessary. Okay. Take half of this stack and advance it forward. You can come up here. Measles has broken out. That was actually up here, so we're going to take attrition in that county. So let's get out of there as quickly as possible. In fact, why don't we go out by a boat? No need to suffer any attrition, we don't have to. Uh, you have annoyed people. Alright, right, you just head to here and we'll land this stack over here. And you can be on your way in this direction. You can follow up to here. Got another 7k down here, which we will send over here as well. No sign of any worryingly large armies just yet. probably should uh, move my Chancellor, but I'm kind of expecting for my character to die really just any day now, so it doesn't really seem like there's much point. Oh, my steward was attacked while collecting taxes. That is terrible news. You can just head straight up here and engage that army. You are on your way. We haven't abandoned any troops anywhere, I think. Taking some attrition in this county, but... Um, yeah, let's actually take half of this stack and retreat them onto the boats to avoid that. And we have another peasant revolt. Apparently didn't learn their lesson from the last one. Well, we'll see if our vassal Maharaja will take care of that. It would be very kind of him. I'll just ignore it for the, mean t for the moment and uh, give him an opportunity to do that if he wants to. We'll check back later. All right, we've got about 7,000 troops in this area. And there's our first siege. I guess we'll move you in here. And our troops on the boats here, I guess there's no reason to keep them on the boats, we'll just have them advance to this county and start sieging it. And okay, well we're about out of time for this episode, so we'll just let this army get to where it's going. And of course it's time for an autosave. So you get where you're going and we'll 
take a break here and continue in the next episode. So thanks for watching and join me again then.